are renovating my New York City studio apartment. It's a small space because that's New York City. But let's go on the journey together. Come on in, girl. I, I love dimension. So my only concern is I don't know if this is a very light gray, which will be what that looks like, or whether it's a very saturated gray and it's going to be that, and that's going to be really dark. That's my concern. So I want to be able yeah. to see on the range of stones that we have in here the impact of this wash. There's a grout chart. Did you know that? I didn't know they were, they were grout charts. So and this is how I look in the morning when I just, you know, have not been feeling well and I roll out of bed and run to a meeting. <laughs> it's not glamorous, it's okay. With all the wiring and stuff, how far will we be able to go back to your storage? We're gonna come out as far as we can so that it's all the way on here. That's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I love it. <laughs> that's crazy. Who knew? That's a lot of storage. That is a lot of storage. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Should we talk kitchen or should we go into what is, is there anything to talk? Talk about the stones. This is the slab we picked for the kitchen. So this is the old kitchen and this is gonna be the slab. It's gonna be the countertop and the backsplash. This, that's so gorgeous. Like that's just gonna be really beautiful all over the space. This is like this is gonna be gorgeous. In terms of finish, right? Some of these are raw. I had initially said I was wanting a little more gold, but I think I've changed my mind. Well, I think in terms of color, I think it could be more subdued. This is almost too dark. I want it to pop a little bit. The brass with this is just not, it feels like a different story. Oh, that's better. This is pretty good. That's pretty good. That's amazing. We're getting a little closer on the on the brass. Yeah. That's great. It's turning it over. I think on the Sometimes it's all about the backside. <laughs> so this is what we had said we, we preferred mm -hmm. using a sample that we had. But it's blue. <laughs> Turn that light off. And I think if we hit all the orange. It still looks blue. Hmm. Way closer. And it looks, it's looking more gray than blue. Mm -hmm. That's sick. That's crazy. That light fucked me up real bad. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why we're recommending that you actually use the light that you're going to use in the space to really get the right reference point. Absolutely. Okay. That's just so much work. Okay. You're not even doing the work. <laughs> hmm. Alrighty, let's see. Certainly a contrast between this and that. It's too rustic. Sure. It needs to be a little bit lighter. Maybe we could do the same thing for the kitchen and the bathroom. Yeah, um, I think your suggestion last week was a good one. I think that maybe it'll be different species, but certainly they'll speak to each other and it could be very much the same color. Yeah. Alrighty. It'll come back then. Work in progress. Today we're here to look at samples for the main cabinetry. If we can get the cabinetry signed off on a sample that I'm really happy with, then we can move forward. It's so beautiful, my port scene. I love it when a plan comes together. So as far as the floor, okay, this is looking better. This is beautiful. Oh my God, I'm kind of obsessed with this right now, but let me just. It's a little darker, a little more purple. I think that was also quite beautiful. Mm, this one doesn't speak to me as much. Huh? This is solid oak for the bathroom. And something that I didn't know. Wow. Uh, that is a substantial piece of wood there. This yep. is finally it. That's finally it. Yeah. It's glorious. Okay. Beautiful. This is looking good. This is sneak peek, so like uh, drawers are going to be going in. Progress. This is my last meeting with Robert and Simon before I head to Atlanta. I'm going down to shoot a movie. It is exciting to see the beginning of the cabinetry being installed. I think I'm finally happy with the floor sample that was like full of teeth. But what's exciting is seeing 
the millwork come in and how we sort of agonized over the right stain of the wood. It's good to hold out for what you want and hold out for your kitchen. Although, um, because we have so many supply chain issues for the um, glazing for the bathroom, I am open to modifying that vision so we can get it done. Nice when a plan starts to come together. This is new! Oh my god, this is new. Okay, hello. This is very, very exciting. Getting the, with the bed out, you get a sense of what this space is going to be. It's small. It's a very small space. The couch is going to be here. I'm going to have a cute little rug. Okay. I'm obsessed with all this couch. I don't know why. No, well that's good because it's something to be obsessed with considering how much attention and investment. It just feels like, I mean, it's very, I mean, it's a closet, right? It's like, it's all this gorgeous um, custom cabinetry that in the storage, which we're going to need, obviously, it's just, and it's really well done. This is a special kind of, if you remember, mm -hmm. this is the one that allows us to go flush, right? I won't. Visit. And these are supposed to be that as well. No. Not quite. I don't think you need flush doors. I think if they're like two inches off here, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's cool that, I mean, we're, I'm making something specifically for me and we're starting small. There's something that feels as intense as this is. If it were a bigger space, I would be really overwhelmed. Like there's something about it being a smaller space that feels just a tiny bit more manageable. Okay, so that's new. That's great. That's great. Can we bring the bed up so we can just... Is it, are we able to put it up and bring it up and down? That's all supposed to happen mechanically. Yep. And so these are LED lights that we actually will have in this day. Right. So this is changing the color. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's a lamb nose. So we, we still haven't talked about a stool yet for this. Ideally something that goes up and down that can be tucked underneath and then pulled out and then like raised for makeup and lowered for hair. Yeah, that works. <laughs> there is a toilet. get so excited at the toilet. There she is. Oh yeah. All the magic happens. Huh? <laughs> this is so good. It's like so often for tall people, like it's a little low. I don't know if you talked about that, but like this is brilliant. Remember this pulls out. Oh, that's, that's right. This whole thing pulls out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to touch it right now. But storage. It comes out like this far. Oh my god. <laughs> she can do it. <laughs> and it pulls out, which is genius. So then you have all the shelves in there. And we'll have shelves there. Yep. I love it. All your closets are this light color. I, I love this entry closet. It's so <laughs> beautifully done. I love this dark wood, just the dark walnut. It's so beautiful. Different than in the bathroom. In the bathroom? It's oak in the bathroom and this is walnut. This is beautiful. The oak is beautiful. It's, re it's really beautiful. It's so fucking stunning. Beautiful wood makes will make me really happy. Beautiful stone when I like open the door and just see this. These are the little things that like when I'm in a space that just like <sighs> makes me feel good. Let's talk about paint. Again, yeah, so this particular sample here, these are just painting. This is kind of the iridescent paint, it's 100%. It's the shiniest that we've got. I don't know if we would ever want to go that shiny. In the vein of this, what if it were gold, like a gold leaf or a gold something or a bronze? Something that would kind of was kind of bronze could pull, yep. pull that yeah. bronze with everything. That could be really wonderful. But what do you think about something this dark for here? So all of this, so this recedes and the cabinetry comes out and the ceiling comes out. This is the, this is the neighborhood for me. Okay. So many details. Oh my goodness. That's why it definitely becomes overwhelming. I'm honestly thinking for comfort and because I'm tall, my boyfriend's tall, if the back of the couch comes up higher, that that's okay. That's okay. We like to cuddle and watch movies on the couch. I like to pass that on the couch. I, I need a couch that's going to really be as comfortable as my bed. Like, there is so much progress that's been made, and that's exciting. 